the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It is now time for the Highland Pledge. I am a smart, special, valuable leader. I respect myself and I respect others. My words and actions are kind and honest. I accept only my best in all I do. My leadership is what you'll see. I am proud to be me. Welcome to the morning news. Today is day two, and today's date is April 17th. Birthdays for today are Sophie Morton and Peyton Romero. Happy birthday! Come down and get your birthday dog tags. Lunch choices are hamburger and cheeseburger. Yum! Now time for our weather girl, Mallory. The low today is 56 and the high is 75. Hopefully it's going to be this warm all week. Upcoming events are kindergarten tour today and yearbook pictures day for clubs is on Thursday. Make sure to wear your club shirts. Interesting fact is there's an owl on the dollar bill. Wow, I didn't know that. Now time for Hornet Hoorahs. I have a Hornet Hoorah to, to Carter Diarmo. Carter has 10 AR points. That's awesome. I have a Hornet Hoorah for Peyton Grumman. Peyton has worked hard and passed all of all of her kindergarten site like, wordless. Way to go. And Hayden Goins has passed the Vision Rock map. That's awesome. Lola Castleton has passed all of her kindergarten Kindergarten site went list. Great job. Tyler Murphy has passed all of his kindergarten site word list. Le Levi Riggs has passed all of his kindergarten site word list. Way to go, Levi. Wow, kindergartners are going past going through those. And I'm sorry, Hayden Goins is actually past multiplication and he's in Miss Single would like to see him pass division. Um, and I have one to Sophia Maddox. She says all of her kindergarten sight words also. That's awesome. And I have one for Eli Mann. Has passed all of his kindergarten sight words. Way to go. And Sasha Foster has 60 AR points. That's great. And I have one for James Fry. He has passed Subtraction Rocket Math. And Tyler Murphy has, Tyler Murphy has also passed all of his kindergarten sight words. A lot of kindergartners are passing those. Now time for Miss Keebler. Well, hello everybody. Good morning. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. It was Easter this weekend, so I hope you had a great time. We had a little bit of sunshine and then suddenly came the rain, right? Have you ever had, heard the saying, April showers bring... Anyone? Anyone? Is there anyone out there in TV land? April showers bring... May flowers. May flowers. So sometimes we have to be very um, gracious for all the rain that we got. So it is going to be a warm day today, but if you go outside, be sure and pay close attention. There's probably quite a bit of puddle slash mud, so be careful if you're outside today. A couple of things. Number one, look at this. In just a week and a half, I have got all of these. Great, great job. And some of them are absolutely fantastic. I don't know how the PTO is ever going to make up their minds which one should be on the, look at that, which one should be on the yearbook cover, but I know that they will. And if you haven't had a chance yet and you want to, you have all the way until the end of April. So technically, you still have two full weeks. Remember that if you want to be considered for that, it has got to say Highland Elementary School. It has to have 2016 to 2017. And if you want some extra points, Hornets or something with leadership or our core essential words are big. So be thinking about how you'd like to design yours. And who knows, you may go down in history as one of the yearbook covers, which would be really, really cool. Now, I'd also like to have the following people <clears throat> come down. Jenna Thompson, Connor Whitehead, Grace Millay, 
Sophia Kane, Alex Murphy, and Jackson Payne. Could you guys come on down? You all will be some new Hornet announcers for this year, so I want to make sure and have an opportunity to speak to you. So, talking a little bit about our core essential word of the month for April, which is humility. And really what humility means is it's really less about me, 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 and way more about you, 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 you. What a great thing to be thinking about here as we go into spring. How would this make our school different if boys and girls thought that way more than they do right now? Let's, let's think about that for a, sec for a second. If we really, really focused in more about other people instead of ourselves all the time, what do you, th what do you think our school would be like? Um, it would be like there is... Do you think it would be happier? Yeah. Do you think it would be a place where people felt comfortable with everybody? You know, a lot of times I think it's it's easy to be really gracious and, and nice and friendly and humble with your friends, but sometimes with people that we don't always hang out with all the time or sometimes that we might come in contact with that we're not necessarily so close to, it's a little bit more difficult and we have to really make the effort to show humility. So today, I know Miss McCain would really like you to be thinking about others way more than you think about yourself. Try and remember that today as you go through your day. And last but not least, kind of important, remember as we get towards the end of the year, we all need to have the same focus, which is to be the exact same kid and student I was in August as I am now. Do you remember what it was like in August when you came in? <laughs> do you remember that? Like you were excited, was excited new school you year, this. you wanted to do your very best and everything and really impress your teacher. And like when people walked down the hallway, they were really extra quiet. So they would get kind of like a bling or a point or a clip up or whatever it is. Let's work real hard over the next 24 days to finish as strong as we can and do the best that we can. I hope you have a fantastic Monday, and we will see you later. Bye.